If you're like us, you probably can't wait to hit the open road in your trusty RV, feeling all the freedom and maybe the occasional need for a snack break, right? Well, before you crank up the tunes and hit the gas, let me share with you five more RV laws that you're probably breaking that you didn't even know about. And trust me, some of them are more surprising than finding clean sheets at your Motel 6. Now last week a guy whipped up a little video, top seven RV laws you might not know you're breaking. And boy, did you guys engage. So well, in fact, that I figured, let's whip up another one for you quick. Now these aren't gonna be as juicy as a Jerry Springer rerun, but still important information anyway. And this week I also decided to post the Department of Transportation laws state by state down below in the comment section. That way you guys can quick reference it from whatever state you might be watching at. Anyway, let's get at it. Number one, not having flares or reflective signs when you're driving or towing your rig down the road. Well, that's right, and let's be honest, how many of you guys are actually packing safety triangles with your camping gear? Or do you live in a state that requires flares in case you have an emergency breakdown? Now I'm betting a lot of you aren't, and here in New York, it's one of the few things that actually aren't required, if you can believe that. Number two, not having brakes on your RV. Did you know that in many states, if your rig weighs over a certain amount, you're legally required to have brakes on the towed vehicle? You know, ones that work. I believe the federal law is anything over 3,000 pounds, but again, your state might be different. Now, obviously, this isn't just a law, but you've got to consider safety for yourself and even others that are on the road. And also, there's this nifty little thing called a breakaway switch, which sounds fancy, right? Well, it's not. Now, if your rig and your truck decide they want to part ways, you know, kind of like a bad relationship, this little guy here will lock the brakes up, preventing a runaway scenario. And if you don't have one, you're looking at yourself a big ticket, or maybe worse, a serious accident. Number three, riding inside your rig while it's being towed. Now, honestly, guys, this is one of the dumbest things that you could do or allow your kids to do. But in some states, it's actually legal to ride inside the fifth wheel or the travel trailer well, it's being towed down the road. Now, just because a handful of states allow you to ride inside of it, that doesn't make it a good idea. I mean, travel trailers simply aren't safe for people or pets traveling down the road. The experience has gotta be like an earthquake on wheels. Now, I'm not talking about Class C or Class A motorhomes. Those have their own list of rules and regulations depending on the state that you're in. Like here in New York, any passenger, regardless of age, regardless of where they're sitting, is required to have their seatbelt on well, the vehicle's in motion. So, can you really get up and use the bathroom or make a sandwich? You might be looking at a ticket if you do. Number four or five? I don't know where we're at anymore. Anyway, just rambling on. Not having your rig safety inspected every year. That's right, here in beautiful New York, you're required to have your trailer or your RV inspected yearly or whenever the registration gets transferred to a new owner. Now, there are some states that only require this every other year, and depending on the size and weight, you might be exempt. But here in New York, they're checking tires, brakes, flashers, lights, that sort of thing. And if you guys get caught driving without it, prepare yourself for a ticket. Next on the list, speeding will tow in your rig. Now, just because the post speed limit says 65 miles an hour, that doesn't necessarily mean, depending on where you are, you can do that while towing your RV. Some states, like California, enforce anything with three or more axles traveling down the road to restrict their speed to 55 miles an hour. Now, obviously, once again, that can vary depending on your location, your weight, or even road conditions. Also, keep in mind lane restrictions. There's a lot of highways out there that say anything towing a truck or trailer has got to stick to the right lane or weather conditions. A strong side wind's going to have you feeling unstable traveling down the road. And always, guys, just remember, the rules and the laws, they change quicker than a toddler's mood whenever they're hungry. Now, if you guys have ever found yourself on the wrong side of the law while towing your RV down the road, comment down below. And remember, let's keep it friendly. There's kids watching. And listen, if you feel like I saved you any money at all on this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and notification bell down below. Let's make this one of the biggest, best advice RV channels there are out there in YouTube land. As always, we appreciate you guys watching, and we will catch you next week.